Hey guys and gals, friends of YouTube, Load Fly Helis here. Uh, we're going to do a quick unboxing on the Great Plains Rifle 1M. Um, as most of you know, I've been kind of feeling the need for speed. I started out uh, over a year ago, I got the Hadron, which was a 90 mile an hour plane. And I went from that to the EFX Racer from Hobby King, which I absolutely love that plane. It's a 100 105 mile airplane. This one is rated on the box at 130 miles an hour plane with the recommended setup that they have. Now they have two different setups. They have a, I think it's a three cell and a four cell, but uh, of course the three cell is going to be milder and not as fast, but I'm going for the big guns. Um, uh, I watched a video from the guys that developed this for Tower. Uh, Great Plains. They were at the, I think the E-Fest e last year. They had a booth and they were talking about it. And the guy was saying that they, they listed it as a 130 mile hour plane, but they actually clocked it several times at, at 148, I mean 138 to 140. So it's really fast. It's not very big. It's skinny and narrow. So uh, you have to be careful where you fly this thing and keep your eye on it. And, and uh, uh, this is my limit. I'm not going any faster than this. I'm too old. My hands and eyes won't keep up with it. So I'm going to try this one and kind of, I don't have to fly it full throttle, but you know, I'm sure I will at some point. But uh, anyway, I bought this uh, ARF kit. I want to say it's like 149. I got it at Scratch and Dent Tower Hobbies over a year ago for like 90 bucks. Been in a closet. Well, here recently I've managed to get around and buy the motor and the ESC and servos and everything for it so we're ready to put it together so let's see what we got in the box on this little dude and, uh, the box was the flap was ripped off one end of it down there's how I got it for uh, box damage only uh, it's all in perfect condition just like brand new so I mean it is brand new uh, got our manual decals of course stuff in there so and uh, everything comes nicely packaged inside this foam cutout. Uh, let's see if I can. I don't know if I can prop something up. What do you see in here? Oh, let me get camera back. Put back there. That'll that'll hold it. Maybe hold it up. Maybe. I don't know. That'll work wanting to fall down there we go okay um, got our uh, horizontal stabilizer this plane should be r real easy to build other than the you know the electronics and stuff it's gonna take a little work but this tail section bolts on um, wow it's uh, fiberglass fuselage is fiberglass and let's see what we got on the wing I think the whole thing's fiberglass it is. I'll be darned. I didn't realize that. Um, oh, that's the groove. I was trying to figure out what that groove was cut in the aileron, but that's where you glue the control horn in. So, so. anyway, everything's in really good shape. So, get the fuselage out of here. Let's, let's go ahead and take it out of the bag was a lot of uh, dust from the styrofoam in this thing. It's fiberglass fuselage. Uh, seems to be pretty solid. It's two halves glued together looks like. Uh, real lightweight. Doesn't weigh anything. So no wonder it's so fast. And what's going to be interesting to me is getting the motor up inside here all the way to the front of this and bolting it up. Not real sure how that's going to work. That's going to be fun. <laughs> anyway, we'll get to that when we get into the manual, I guess, and find out uh, what we're up against there. See what we got here. Bags, pieces, parts. Got uh, It's got uh, carbon fiber control horns that glue in. There's a motor mount, goes in the front, wood, and maybe a pattern to drill. 
And let's see, what are we missing here? We, uh, no, not anything. There we go. There's the package of control rods, some uh, Velcro sticky, and a nice little aluminum spinner it comes with. That's cute. <laughs> a little prop on this thing. Well, I'll get it out here in a minute, but uh, anyway, there's not much, uh, not much to it. As far as the unboxing goes, I'm just kind of good grief. Got these pieces cut out. There we go. I guess just to hold it up. I'm going to just lay it back in here for right now. And we'll get it all back out here in a minute and we'll start building it. But I just wanted to kind of do the unboxing, which there's not a whole lot to it to unbox. That's the T tail that bolts on top. Um, the vertical fan is actually, like you saw, is mounted to the uh, to the fuselage. It's, it's actually molded in as part of the fiberglass fuselage. So, I'll put this back in here and set this aside. Let me see if I can get this out of the way. Set this back down. Okay, now. Let's get the other goodies out here. Um, I'm going to be running. And this is the recommendation. The recommendation they call for on the setup uh, for it to fly 130, 135 miles an hour. Uh, it's an Electrofly ammo in runner brushless motor, and it is the 28. Dash 20 dash 28 dash 45 dash 36 kV uh, comes with your fittings and everything to solder on your your uh, ESC mounting screws. Um, actually, I got that out of scratch and dent too. It's brand new, but I got packaged the box damage. I saved uh, I think ten dollars on it, so that was awesome. Calls for Castle Creation. Uh, a light it's called a light 50 Phoenix Edge light 50 8s 34 volt 5 amp back and that's what it called for uh, in the book for the high speed of course you have to solder your Deans or whatever you're using for your battery which I'll use Deans and you have to solder your tips on here uh, for your motor but what we'll do it, it shows how to do it in the manual but you will cut these off uh, the ESC mounts and the motor just in line with each other so you have to cut these off a certain length and solder them so it just all fits right up in there in line which we'll do and then let's see what else I got here I'll just lay that there because we're not going to need the box again the prop that runs the 130 mile hour is an APC speed 400 electric and it is a 4.5 by 4.1 and that's what they call for on the fast setup now the other setup uh, if you go with a three cell it runs a 5.25 by 6.25 I ordered one just for the heck of it but I'm, I'm gonna start out with this probably so that's our props I've got three of those um, it recommended the zap goo glue to glue the servos in. This is kind of like an epoxy sort of. It's strong, but yet it's still slightly flexible. And it, the reason being, so if your servo, if you have one go out or whatever, you can get it out and put a new one in later on. So I bought that. That's what it recommended to glue to the fiberglass. And then down to the servos. Uh, four or three micro servos. Uh, what it called for. I'm going to run the Tactic TSX 10s. They are uh, 4 to 6 volt. They're uh, Metal Gear and they're digital. Uh, let's see, 4.8 volt, they're 17 ounce torque, and at 6 volt, they're 23 ounce torque. And I, I think it called for a minimum of 18 or 20 ounce on this plane so 23 should be plenty and these are digital metal gear so they should hold up just fine anyway that's all the goodies that's going to go in it 
and I'll go ahead and post this unboxing of this and then we'll get started building it. I'm going to start on it today so hopefully later tonight or at least another day or two I'll have some build videos up for you guys. Uh, I've not done hardly any build videos on electrics. I think the only one I've done maybe was my Calypso and the little f nice guy uh, plane that I built, a little beaver and I never have got to do the maiden on it yet. But uh, We're going to do a step by step all the way through on this one. Uh, this one's a little different than anything I've built. Cause it was an ARF. Most of the electrics I've got I bought is, is TX ready or, or receiver ready. So this one we're going to have to actually put the linkage and everything in it. So uh, we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to do a step by step for you guys. And uh, if you feel the need for speed, this is a really fast plane. It's kind of cool looking and, and uh, pretty reasonable. I don't know. I think, like I said, I think 149, I believe is what the ARF lists for a tower. And then uh, the ESC was 85. The motor was 60 and I got it for 50 out of scratch and dent. They, by the way, they still have some of these in scratch and dent. And it may be a member only, I think, but uh, they still got some of these in there for 50 $51, something like that. And, uh, or they did a couple days ago. Uh, ESC is, I got it, I just paid it regular, but I, I got used my coupon stuff on this and saved some money. The servos were forty dollars i bought them in a three pack you can save a couple bucks now they were forty dollars and some cent, almost forty one dollars for three of those so i don't know we'll figure that out whatever that is you know probably less than three hundred dollars uh you've got a pretty fast fun little plane here uh not counting your batteries and stuff so and i've already got batteries so anyway there you go there's an unboxing and the parts we're going to be using um i will be putting it on my tactic uh, ttx 850 radio and i'll be using a uh tactic four channel receiver in that with a dual antennas well i may use a single antenna i've not ever had a glitch with one of those at all and no more range than this is going to have so i'll probably use one of those but uh all right guys there you got it the great plains rifle 1m unboxing and all the stuff to go in it and next next video we'll get started on the build thanks for watching